Unmanned area vehicles, or UAVs, continue to play an increasing role in homeland security, military operations, and civilian sector applications. Used primarily for surveillance and target acquisition, these vehicles have significant mobility advantages. With the exception of UAVs with weapons payloads, the vast majority typically try to avoid contact with the ground rather than interact with it. The aim of this research is to develop a mobile manipulating unmanned area vehicle, or MMUAV, that goes beyond simple pick and place. This artist's conception shows a futuristic area vehicle with multiple dexterous arms. A prototype vehicle was constructed using an off-the-shelf quad rotor. These types of rotorcraft are simple, have strong hover control, and good payload to weight ratios. The drawback of the quad rotor is a tendency to drift due to the inherent instability of the rotorcraft from its motors and rotors. To compensate for variations in roll and pitch during flight and manipulation, a buoyancy envelope was attached to the quad rotor to provide storing forces and an increased moment of inertia for the vehicle. By analyzing test runs with and without the buoyancy envelope, we have verified that the hybrid structure does improve flight stability. Experiments show that the prototype vehicle is capable of both flight and actuation. While the prototype did not accomplish the level and types of manipulation tasks we had hoped for, the initial results have proven to be an important milestone for current and future work. From the lessons learned of our prototype vehicle, we have also built a miniature gantry test rig to emulate the UAV and perform mobile manipulation in a controllable and repeatable manner. The mini gantry provides X, Y, and Z position along with roll, pitch, and yaw orientation control of the aircraft. Based on Drexel's Systems Integrated Sensors Test Rig, or SISTER, the flight emulator uses model reference adaptive control to eliminate error between the gantry state and the flight dynamics model of the aircraft. We also leverage existing work done at Drexel with whole body locomotion on our humanoid Hubo. We contend that humanoids and MMUAV have much in common where both must dynamically balance during the manipulation task. Mini Hubo shown here was used as a basis for Mini Gantry's arms where we have expertise in manipulators as well. Due to the difficulties of using a multiple manipulator and end effector on an aircraft, a hybrid impedance control strategy was implemented. The use of force feedback and impedance control is a well-practiced approach for manipulation and provides an interesting advantage for the aerial manipulation problem. The sense forces not only allow the manipulator a means of compliance while exercising tasks, these same forces can be communicated to the rotorcraft stability controller to provide overall stability.